tomorrow, anything can happen. And there's still a lot of guys right beneath us. We don't know what conditions are going to be like. Greens are getting firmer than I've ever seen out here. So it's going to play a lot different than what we've seen kind of the first two rounds. And, you know, it's uh, – but at the end of the day, you know, I, I know where my head's at. I know what I need to focus on. And I know what um, needs to be done if I want to, you know, close it off tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Sean Martin, please. Is the putting switch between rounds one and two, um, just what inspired it, and have you switched putters mid-tournament before? Oh, yeah, okay. plenty of times. Um, yeah, I mean, college college was a fun one. Um, yeah, you know, I came into this week not putting well or just not feeling com comfortable with the putter I had in my in my hands and went full 180, switched to the mallet, switched, switched to the spider, and was feeling great, to be honest. Like, felt really, really good, felt better than I have kind of felt all year. But sometimes you don't know how it's going to feel in the tournament. And um, through that Thursday and then Friday, the morning round, it was just for me to finish the round. Like, I just wanted to get the putter out of my hands because I just – I couldn't get comfortable with it. And thankfully, I had a backup, you know, something – copy of, of what I've putted with in the past, pretty much the past <laughs> year and a half. And, you know, it just kind of felt like old times. So it was nice to have that in the, in the, in the bag again. And um, didn't make, you know, the putts I necessarily wanted today. Missed a few out there. But – you know, everything still feels comfortable. That's the biggest thing is, like, feeling comfortable kind of going into tomorrow. Kevin? Colin, when you've been in the mix in major championships and then it kind of goes away for a while, as it does with everyone, how much does it ache to want to get that feeling back? Yeah, it sucks. Um, I mean, I think the last time I was pretty close was probably the U.S. Open in 22 at Brookline. And, you know, it's it, they're just different. I mean, you don't – you. As a, as a person and as a golfer, you don't know how you're going to react in those situations. Thankfully, I've already been able to win two. Um, so I can kind of go back on those experiences and just take that and take that experience into tomorrow. Um, doesn't mean tomorrow is going to be a perfect day. It doesn't mean tomorrow is going to go exactly as I planned. But I, can, I, I know how to prep at least leading up to tomorrow. And, and you do so much work to get to this spot that, you know, it's, it's really just – can you stick to, to what you've kind of prepped for? And, and I think I've got a pretty good plan, so hopefully we can execute it tomorrow. James? Colin, uh, you're the, the only player under par for each of the, the th first three rounds. Uh, you, you seem pretty comfortable out there. Are, are, we, are we now to assume you're back to your 2020, 2021 form? Is that how you feel? Uh, I mean, it's early on. Um, hopefully tomorrow, for the, for the sake of me, yes. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. Golf, there's so many ups and there's so many downs, right? And you don't quite know where you're at every single day, and you just do the best you can to, to really wake up and, and just enjoy where you're at. Um, it, it's, been, it's been a struggle the past two years, and, it, you know, it hasn't been fun, but it's been fun to learn about the game and learn about myself. And, um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, the, the past few days I've, I've seen some shots that, I haven't seen in, in quite some time, and that's really, really exciting for me because it's just being able to just, you know, point and shoot and find the ball and, and hopefully you got a birdie chance. Just as a reminder, Colin Morikawa was an historically great young player, one of only two of two have won the Open and the PGA Championship before age 25. The other was Tiger. He won his second major in just his eighth major start, the fewest to two major titles since Bobby Jones in 1926. So this is 17th major start would be the fewest number of major starts to three major wins since, you ready for this? Tom Watson, Turnberry 1977. Fewest number of major starts to get to three legs of the career Grand Slam since Jack earned his third leg, 1963 PGA Championship 